deepest and forests and and um, deep uh, land where you know it's more rural and more open space. So anyway, uh, I just want to take the time to pray for all you lambs that are going through so much stuff, especially all the lambs that been and all other people that have been uh, hard hit with the floods during this weekend. Uh, and my lake of woods is raining and I'm not in the, I'm in somewhat of a semi uh, rural area, but it's, I'm in a place where I'm not in deep, you know, lands or ditches or whatever, or some places, you know, where I'm at, where it's not heart struck for overflows of water, you know, and I just thank God that he's keeping us in my lake of woods, you know, safe, you know, because I'm praying for people and I'm praying for you souls out there, you wonderful souls out there that are struggling and the Lord has moved on my heart to pray for all people including the lambs especially the lambs but all people that are struggling with these storms and that have went through some type of hardships due to the storm of overfloods of waters so anyway I just want you to know lambs that Jesus Christ went to overflow you with his love and overflow with his kindness and mercy for you and comforts for you because you can never get enough love from Jesus because he's everlasting lovingly and he loves forever and he loves you lambs forever and he loves everybody on this earth forever and ever unconditionally genuinely and everlastingly so anyway the song that I'm playing right now is called Faithfulness. It's an instrumental song. It's from the Fruit of the Spirit album by uh, Greg Wilson. Uh, and his uh, title album is called Bought with a Price. That's the, what he goes by as far as his name of his products. And you can also listen to Greg Wilson, Bought with a Price on bandcamp.com and you can also purchase uh, his music he has so many different types of music uh, and so many uh, songs and albums that any of you lambs out there that are interested in listening to his music and you like this particular song Faithfulness um, then you can purchase if you wish now I'm going to play Another song by Greg Wilson called Gentleness from his uh, album called um, Fruit of the Spirit, Fruit of the Holy Spirit. So anyway, uh, hopefully, Greg Wilson, I got your uh, album correctly, you know, said. But anyway, if not, I apologize. So, uh, Lamb's... Uh, God, Jesus Christ, you know, he's faithful and he's gentle with us like no other. And he's always faithful forever and ever and ever to us. He's, he'll never let you down. The storms may let you down, but Jesus will never let you down. And Jesus will bring you through the storms and out of the storms. So anyway... I'm not saying that I'm immune to the storm because I'm going through storms, weather, weather in my lake of woods and in the state where I'm at too. You know, it's I'm sure in certain parts in the state that I'm in that it hit harder than my area where I'm at. So anyway, I'm not immune to floods because it's affecting all the southern states in America. So from what I can understand from what I read, and read and heard on the weather channel when I look on the weather channel so anyway um, I just gonna start praying for all you wonderful lambs and all the people out there in the southern states of America that are being hard targeted with the floods the over floods of the waters of the water storms so anyway, Heavenly Father God, I lift up all people 
in the southern states of America, Father God, that are being hard hit, Father God, by any of the overflows of the waters and the ushings of the waters, Father God, and the outpourings of the waters, Father God, and the overfloods of the waters, Father God, where they have lost either homes, cars, loved ones, people, pets, things, possessions, businesses, jobs, or whatever, Father God, and their health and their sleep, their lights, their electricity, and due to blackouts and this weather, and where they have been either stranded in their cars by the overfloods of waters, and, and where they have either been flooded in their homes or flooded in their businesses and jobs and employments and where it's been these storms have created a big mess of water and debris to clean up so father god is so many things that can happen during this floody water season father god and this type of disaster weather so father god i just really pray that you will comfort all people that are being suffocated in the storm, Father God, that are going through struggles, Father God, that are traumatized, that are hurting in all types of ways, Father God, that are hurting emotionally and mentally and psychically and psychologically and mentally and physically, Father God, and spiritually. Father God, that you will comfort all the souls in the southern states of America that are being hard hit and targeted with overfloods of waters, Father God, in various types of ways, Father God, with your comforting hand and with your healing hand, Father God, and with your comforts, Father God, and release your angels to comfort all the souls, Father God, in the southern states of America, Father God, on every side, Father God, and that you will soothe them on the inside out, Father God, and that you will relieve them and heal them from any deep trauma and anxiety and hurt and loss, Father God, and loss of, especially if they lost any loved ones, Father God, or pets, or they lost homes and their homes been over flooded, their cars been over flooded, Father God. So I just really pray in Jesus Christ's name, Father God, that you will send your angels, your guardian angels, to guard and protect all the souls, Father God, in the southern states where the floods, the water floods are hitting people really hard in the southern states of America, Father God. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, that your angels will guard and protect them from all natural disaster, from any type of harm, Father God, from overfloods of waters and overflows of waters, Father God, that you will protect all souls, Father God, in the southern states, Father God, in America, Father God, from any harm of waters, from any dangers of waters, Father, from the overflows of waters, Father God, from any type of raging waters, Father God, that you will supernaturally release your raging, powerful anointing, Father God, to rescue and protect all the souls in the southern states, from children to adults, Father God, to elderly people, to animals, Father God, from the the harms and dangers of any raging waters and overflow flows of waters father god everywhere in the southern states in america where they're being hard hit with overflows of waters in jesus christ's name heavenly father god i ask that you will cover every soul father god every soul in southern states where they're being hit by these overflows of waters father god with the blood of jesus christ from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet with the blood of jesus christ in jesus christ's name my heavenly father i ask heavenly father god that you will also cover all souls father god in your lambs your people your children father god 
and all children to adults, Father God, and animals, Father God, and the homes of people, and the cars of people, and their lands and properties, and employments and jobs, and finances, Father God, and possessions, and their spirits, souls, and bodies, and their lives, and their personalities, and their wills, and their intellects, Father God, their health, and their lives, Father God in their minds, Father God, with the blood of Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I pray, Heavenly Father God, that you release your love and comfort, Father God, in the outpouring of your mercy and grace, Father God, and divine protection and favor upon all the souls that are being persecuted through any raging waters, Father God, and any floods of anything being attacked in their lives, Father God, in their homes or cars or with their loved ones and pets and employments and businesses and stuff like that, Father God, and schools and organizations, Father God, with there's buildings. Heavenly Father, in Jesus Christ's name. I ask, Father God, that you will also protect all the rescuers, all the workers that are aiding and helping people, Father God, and rescuing them from flooded places, Father God, from over flooded places and homes and cars and, and animals and rescuing animals and children, Father God, rescuing children from dangerous situations and dire situations connected to these water flood disasters, Father God, during this weekend, Father God, even today, Father God, because today is the day that is raining heavy rains and stuff, Father God, and to, tomorrow is supposed to rain hard in some places more than others, so Father God, I just thank you, Father God, for just protecting the rescuers and just covering them with the blood of Jesus Christ and strengthening them with your power hand powerful hand, Father God, to help people, to rescue people that are stuck somewhere, are, are drowning somewhere in the overfloods of waters, that you will protect people, Father God, from being drowned, including animals and children and elderly people, elderly people, Father God, and shut-ins and people that are very sick and can't move and fast or whatever, Father God, and elderly people that Move, can't move fast and they, especially the ones that are very sick and stuff that are ill so Father God I pray that you will send special help for these elderly people and for the sickly people and for the children the sick children too Father God in hospitals and stuff and, and the animals that are sick and animals Father God in Jesus Christ's name I pray, Father God, I thank you for sending the right rescues and and giving the helping the rescue people, Father God, to rescue the people that they need to rescue, Father God, and successfully for giving them wisdom how to do it, Father, and give them strength how to rescue people, Father God, that need to be rescued from these dangerous water storms, Father God, and floods. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God. I just thank you and I praise you, Father God. I give you glory and honor, Father God, for what you are doing for the Southern people, Father God, the Southerners, the Southerners in the Southern states of America, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name. I pray, Father God, for all the ones that have lost anything connected to this overflow of uh, floods. Father God, over this weekend, Father God, and even today, Father God, I pray that you will supernaturally intervene and to restore, to restore, Father God, everything that the enemy has stolen from any soul in the southern states of America, Father God, and from any of your people in the lambs from any of your lambs and any of the lambs that are being persecuted through any given slavery program, through any of the lambs that are already homeless, Father. I pray, Father God, that you will restore everything that the enemy has stolen from them through this storm and through this uh, raging overflood uh, water system, Father God. 
water situation in Jesus Christ's name. Star.